leave your comments below in regards to that. We appreciate it. On to the next thing, recruiting updates. Obviously, this is, uh, as you guys know, Austin's Austin's forte. So, Austin, what is the latest in recruiting? And we have a big weekend here coming up in terms of people coming into town. So, Yeah, uh, a lot of folks coming in. A lot of pretty important folks coming in, too. Uh, a lot of the current commits will be here, which will be helpful. Um, it did look like there was an in-state guy that was maybe kind of trending away or cooling on Penn State a little bit. And that's, uh, David, uh, oh man, I'm going to butcher that last name. Uh, Palapale, I'm going to say, I'm going to take a guess and say it's Palapale. I don't think it's pale, pale that if it is apologies. Um, but, uh, he will be here. Uh, he originally had a official visit. Uh, planned for the 16th to the 18th of June. Uh, he has since changed that to this weekend. So he should be arriving sometime, probably right around now, at uh, the time that we're recording this. So good to get him on campus. Good to get Deion Barnes, another opportunity with him. But he is far from the only, uh, the only guy set to come into town. We have a huge list of folks and some really, really big targets, which I will name now. Uh, first and foremost, Liam Andrews, who is one of the best interior linemen in the entire country. Uh, mm -hmm. On three has him rated as the best interior offensive lineman in the country. However, it does appear that he wants to play defensive tackle at the next level. My personal recommendation for Penn State is to let him play wherever he wants to play and sign him to the class. That is my that is my recommendation. He is a really good player. Six, four and a half, six, five, um, about 255, 260 right about now. Um, so really good size, prototypical size. Uh, he would be, he could definitely grow into an enormous interior offensive lineman or an enormous defensive tackle, which from what I understand, a lot of people are concerned about and really, really would love them to get a, a guy in the interior of the D line that is big and beefy and can really uh, clog up the holes and stop the run. So uh, he has the potential to grow into that. Um, should he choose to play defensive tackle? Uh, Chance Robinson will be up here. Uh, he is currently committed to uh, the university of Miami. Uh, he is a wide receiver from Florida, uh, Fort Lauderdale area, a four-star prospect. He will be in town. Um, so clearly still has at least a little bit of interest in hearing what Penn state has to say. Um, and of course, we're still looking for wide receiver commits here um, with the new wide receivers coach, Marcus Hagan. So let's see what we can do there. But a couple of guys here, some of them we've already discussed. I want to name uh, Luan, or uh, excuse me, uh, Daywan Lane, who is a linebacker from Maryland, Gilman School. Uh, we talked about him probably about a month ago now. Good player, very athletic, um, good size, definitely has a good frame to grow into at the linebacker position. He will be in town. Uh, Penn State does currently lead with his crystal ball projections. Um, Jalen Harvey, another guy that we talked about, some of the usual suspects, another Maryland prospect, defensive end. Yep. He will be in town. Uh, definitely a good opportunity for Deion Barnes to uh, get to work on him. Uh, Jalen Hornsby, which we talked about, I believe, two episodes ago, and then the episode before that one, uh, the wide receiver that Penn State's in on, uh, he will be in town as well. Definitely looking to make some big-time headway here um, with some of these prospects. I think it's super, super important uh, to really, really get out in front and, and take a lead in some of these folks' recruitments. Um, and then the last guy I really want to talk about is going to be uh, Xavier Gilliam, another guy that we've talked about a bunch of times on the defensive line. Uh, still waiting for that first D line commitment to drop. I think maybe we just need one little pebble to to land and start the avalanche of of uh, defensive line recruiting commitments and things. So, uh, looking for the first one of those. I think Xavier Gilliam's definitely a take for Penn State if he wants to commit. Uh, he should be able to for sure. So, overall, they have a good group, and like I said, they have a lot of the guys that are currently committed going to be popping in as well. 
always a beautiful arrangement when you get a lot of the committed guys on campus along with some of the top targets. That peer-to-peer yep. recruiting, super, super helpful, um, especially when you have a bunch of guys committed that are really highly touted, great athletes, really good football players, good folks um, in general. Uh, I think it's going to be a really, really, really good time. Um, and then just a little brief outlook to not this weekend, but next weekend, there's going to be another round of really, really important prospects coming in. Again, several of the committed players will be in here. Some of the big fish will be in here. Quentin Martin will be here next weekend. John yep. Mitchell from Florida will be here, um, along with some of the really top guys that we've talked about, Jamonta Waller. Uh, Nick Marsh, the wide receiver that we that we spoke about, who uh, decommitted from Michigan State a while back. A lot of big fish. Jameer Grimsley, the other big, long corner from Florida. He'll be here next weekend. So a lot of things coming up here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I said, I believe, either last show or two shows ago, keep an eye on June. It's going to be a big-time recruiting month. Um, and that's kind of why I said that, because we have a ton of visits coming up here in the next couple of weekends. Yeah. And there are some real big fish coming to town. So definitely keep an eye on things there. Uh, I would love to see Penn State lock some of these guys up here um, in the summer. And I would love them to get on the board with their first defensive lineman. I think that's important. I think that's an, that's an area that you have to recruit well every single year. Um, nothing to show for it to this point. But I think and I feel that that might change in June. Yeah, just looking at what I'm looking at right now, the fact that John Mitchell and Quentin Martin, for example, are coming into town is huge because again, for those that you, uh, for those of you that have forgotten John Mitchell, four-star defensive back, Quentin Martin, basically five-star, whatever, uh, except for like quarterback, defensive lineman, offensive lineman. He can play l- literally anything, probably going to play t- uh, running back and then hopefully play some defense. That's how good of an athlete he is. I mean, he could be a Jabril Peppers type. But uh, those guys coming into town, like Austin said, is huge because basically, Austin, what exactly are they coming for if they already committed? They're just here to basically see the program, like watch practice, I'm assuming. Yeah, I mean, it's really really all those things. Just, uh, it's keep not getting recruiting a few- anymore. Uh, I mean, peer-to-peer recruiting for sure. Um you know, and, and there might be a couple of committed guys that maybe are having some, you know, inklings to maybe look at some other places. Yada, yada, yada. It's, it's just reaffirming commitments. It's just circling back to make sure that that these guys are feeling, you know, wanted and, and that, the, you know, this is this is where they need to be and, and whatever else. But peer to peer recruiting, uh, learning more about the area, learning more about the program, watching more stuff, uh, meeting with the, their position coaches, um, talking yes. about things that they can be working on. Um, between now and signing day um, and when they get here, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's really just getting things kind of ironed out beforehand. So then there's less of a, there's less of a shock value when they get here finally after signing day um, and get to work plan. Uh, They they have a lay of the land. They kind of know where all the stuff is. They know how to traverse all the facilities and and all that kind of stuff. Um, It just kind of, makes it a little bit easier to kind of walk into something that you're already somewhat familiar with. Um, it always makes people feel more comfortable that way, which is usually always a benefit because then you can kind of just get to work, hit the ground running and and really, uh, you know, uh, get a good head start on things. So I think yep. that's main, mainly it, but um, you know, not necessarily competing for their commitment, but it's, it's a good, uh, it's a good practice nonetheless. Obviously, we've talked about recruiting on this show several, several times. You know, just everything that I'm looking over, again, you know, I've, I've looked it over pretty extensively already, but we've talked about recruiting on this show many, many, many times because it's so important. People, right now, like I said, we cover this three days a week. A lot of people aren't even thinking about Penn State football right now because it's pretty much the dead of the off season. You know, people got like graduations and uh, summer plans, vacations, uh, watching basketball, stuff like that. You know, football, not only is not really in people's minds, but Penn State football is not. So 
what we're covering right now is just as important as the Ohio State game because what we're talking about right now will lead to possibly beating Ohio State, beating Michigan, making the playoff. What's going on right now, who they're getting, who they have coming into town is extremely important. So, again, thank you guys for tuning in. But just want to make sure that we don't forget as fans, for those of you that are listening to us right now, you know, you guys are diehard fans, not only of Penn State football, but probably of our show. So, you know, we, we know how important this stuff is. You know, we're talking about recruiting. You know, we're talking about just the depth chart and the roster and the coaches that they're hiring, everything. And where these games will be streamed. I mean, there's, again, there's probably some people that still don't know that one of our games is going to be on a streaming app and half of us might not be able to see it. So, you know, I feel like come like August, people are like, oh, we can't watch the game. But like what? Like what's going on here? People are going to get on like the day of the game. Be like, where's the game? Like what, what channel is it on, you know? Uh, so the fact that these big time guys, Quentin Martin, number one athlete, John Mitchell, one of the highest rated um, defensive backs out of Florida. If I remember right, he's out of Florida as well as his teammate, uh, fellow safety with uh, their coach having ties to Penn state. I believe that was one of the kids, but uh, it's very important stuff that we're talking about right now. So, 